Hi, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how you can easily stitch screenshots into an instructional video using Snagit. You can overlay shapes and callouts, voiceovers, and even your webcam video feed into it. For those of you unfamiliar with Snagit, it is hands down the best screen capture and recording software available in the market today. I have a full tutorial coming soon, but today we'll just explore one use case. So let's pretend I wanna share some new features that have been recently introduced to Microsoft Teams. I can write a newsletter or a blog post, but I think showing the features in a video format might be most effective in this case. So one way to approach this might be to just record my screen as I show how to use the new features, but this requires some prep and rehearsal up front if I want the video instructions to flow seamlessly. And of course, this will most definitely require some editing afterwards, perhaps cutting out the mistakes and adding annotations to highlight important sections. So for informal instruction of video, you can do this instead. Here we are in the Snagit editor. I've already taken a few screenshots of Microsoft Teams showcasing the new features. You can see these still images in the thumbnail ribbon below. I'm gonna select them all, right mouse click, and choose create video from images. I can also come up to the top here to the create button, select the drop down, and choose video from images from here. Now that will launch the recording window. As you can see, the five images that we selected have been brought over. Make sure that they are flowing correctly. The video is going to play from left to right. So if you see that any of the thumbnail is out of position, make sure to select them and move them into the correct position. Now you see the marching ants around the recording preview window. Anything inside it will be recorded as part of the video, including some of the callouts and shapes that we'll bring into it. And to that point, you can see that there's a panel here showing quick styles. These are some of my favorite tools that I've added to quick styles. So for you, uh, the set of Tools may look different, but it's basically whatever you've added as your favorite. Going back to the recording preview window, you'll notice that the image that we have selected is not filling the entire frame. As a matter of fact, there is some negative space that's outlined by the black background. If you don't like the black background, we can come to the recording toolbar, select this button here, and choose a different color. You can even use the eyedropper tool to select a specific color from the image that you have showing. I'm gonna go back to the black background as I like that. We can also add a webcam feed into this. Select the drop down here, choose the correct device. Okay. And we can reposition the picture to wherever you want. And we can also grab the corner handle and resize it if you want. Okay, so here I am. Now the left to right navigation buttons uh, will help you cycle through the different thumbnail images. We wanna start from the first one, so we'll leave it there. We have an option to turn on the cursor capture, so if you turn that on, your video recording will capture your cursor. I wanna keep that off. And then for your microphone option, you can hit the drop down, make sure that you have the correct device selected. I'm choosing Zoom P4 as that is my audio interface. And as you can see, as soon as I selected that option, you see the audio meter here. Okay, so I think we're ready to go ahead and get started. I'm going to hit the record button, making sure again, the very first image is selected. Hit record. Hi everyone, I wanted to bring your attention to some of the new features that have been added to Microsoft Teams. Whenever you want to know what new features have been added to Teams, you can always go down to the help section here. And go to what's new. When you select that option, you'll be brought over to a page showing all of the new features that have been added to Teams starting with the most recent. If you go down the page, you'll see some of the older features that have been added in. For example, one of my favorite recent feature is to find out someone's 
time zone. I work in a global company and I have a lot of partners that live in different regions of the world. And it's not always clear what time zone they work in. So if I want to find out someone's time zone, I can go to the chat. Then choose the person's profile from a recent chat. When you do that, their profile window will show up and you will see their time zone listed on their contacts. So this is a very simple way to find out someone's working time zone. I hope you found this helpful. I'm going to stop the recording. So this isn't exactly a super polished video, but for informal instructional video, this is a smart way to go. We do have some options to edit the video, mainly being able to cut away some sections. So if you made a mistake or if there's a long pause, you can cut those away. Once your edit is done, you can export the video by using the share button. There are a lot of options here, including uploading directly to YouTube, but you can also just save it to your computer if you like. So I'll play the recorded video in full so that you can see what it looks like. But otherwise, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks and bye for now. Hi everyone, I wanted to bring your attention to some of the new features that have been added to Microsoft Teams. Whenever you want to know what new features have been added to Teams, you can always go down to the help section here. And go to what's new. When you select that option, you'll be brought over to a page showing all of the new features that have been added to Teams, starting with the most recent. If you go down the page, you'll see some of the older features that have been added in. For example, one of my favorite recent feature is to find out someone's time zone. I work in a global company and I have a lot of partners that live in different regions of the world. And it's not always clear what time zone they work in. So if I want to find out someone's time zone, I can go to the chat. Then choose the person's profile from a recent chat. When you do that, their profile window will show up and you will see their time zone listed on their contacts. So this is a very simple way to find out someone's working time zone. I hope you found this helpful.